Oh yeah. Packages in the mail. Just gotta love the packages in the mail. And I especially love the packages in the mail that come from <laughs> Adafruit. Cause uh that's pretty. I know someone who's gonna like that. Uh, audio cables, headphones. You know, I need new headphones because my uh, my these are toast. And these actually don't look too terribly bad. Look at that volume. My gosh. That's actually a not bad set of headphones. So I'm betting there's something audio related in here. I just, of course I know what's in here. It is the latest data box. Ooh. Blingtastic. Very pink. Much bling. <laughs> Yes, so I've been looking forward to this for a couple of days because inside of here is the uh, one of the new products from Adafruit, which is a, um, what do they call it? The Trellis M0. And what's a Trellis M0, you might ask? Well, it is a, it's many things. Oh man, it even comes with a little, okay, so let's slow down a second here. A little stand for it. Look at that. A little stand that you can use to prop up whatever the device is. A uh, laser cut, uh, enclosure for something, fair enough. Some plastic membrane keypads. Are these conductive membranes? Yes. Okay, so these will sit on top of a PCB. That's a conductive ring and that will form a connection um, on a PCB. Much like your remote controls. Here we have some miscellaneous componentry, um, including, let's see what's in here, uh, a pot, a stereo jack breakout, some rubber feet and a few caps and a resistor. Okay, so there's some, some passives to do something with. There is some breakout pins, and yes, the Trellis M4. And what is a Trellis M4? It is a number of things. It's a soundboard. It's got some DAC on it. It's got an analog devices, ADXL343, an accelerometer. So um, you can do a whole bunch of things. So these are NeoPixels, so you've got different colors, and you've got buttons, so it's an array of buttons and, um, and LEDs. It's got an accelerometer on it. There's also a, a, an ADC, so it um, sends, out, uh, sends out audio. We've got an a, some sort of an Atmel chip. Which one is it? Sam D51G. And... Hmm. What's this? Can't even tell what the uh, what this chip is, but I think that's the DAC. But in any event, um, this microcontroller can be used to program the various colors on the buttons. Plus, you can um, store. And it might be a, it might be a flash chip. Um, in any event, storing sounds and triggering samples. That's what this board is all about: creating creating sounds or storing sounds and sending those sounds. Out. 
so what is this little doodobbly here? Whoa. This looks to be like some sort of a prism. It is. Ah, I wonder what we can do with that. I wonder. I wonder. At the very least, that is a cool little piece of, uh, of acrylic. A cube prism. Multi-sensory feast. Yeah, Sam D um, 51 microcontroller. Stereo audio channels, microphone input. So it can, you can um, send sounds into it, so it can, you can sample things, and it'll send some out. Uh, synthesizer, drum machine, MIDI sequencer, audio, audio filter, sampler, and audio production toy. Now, <clears throat> some of you who have been watching for a while will remember the fun that we had with the j box. This is not that. This is going to work. So, let's start playing. Okay, so the SAMD51, a Cortex M4 running at 120 megahertz, and dual DACs. The value, the value you get from Ada Box. And if you know Paul Stofgren, um, of him, um, he has a bunch of libraries that have been written for Arduino and does a bunch of cool stuff, um, including um, he's the de person that designed the um, the Teensy um, and has JJRC, J something like that. I, anyways, um, he has a super fast audio library, and he was also, I think, the person who wrote the um, the base code for the fast LED um, libraries. Um, has an audio processing library for that um, has been ported to this chip by the folks at Adafruit. So we've got a screaming fast audio processing library as well as dual DACs. There should be lots of room to play around with this thing. Okay, so here's our stack up. We've got a board and a spacer and a, a back and crap from miscellaneous cats and whatnot. We have our uh, our buttons and then we have a top plate. And it looks like that. Oh, looks good from the top, looks good from the bottom. It looks like a product. An actual bona fide product. It's like a professional product. <clears throat> Impossible. It's not possible to do that for that amount of money. I am magic. The people at Atabox are magical. Okay, yeah, a bit about the uh, bit about the chip. This is a um, uh, well, Hacking Connect's got audio generation, obviously, USB in. There is a single wire debug um, header right here, as well as these things are also um, connected to this, so that um, if you know you're not if your project doesn't support having a connector here. You can also connect into the connector in all of these spots. Um, this is the uh, microprocessor and that's some some memory and then we have some audio generation um, chips. We also have a fuse, 500 milliamp fuse, just in case um, the whatever you have plugged into USB starts to pull too much power because you could also power it through this connector. Um, yeah, so uh, that is the way that works. The SAMD um, uses the um, UF2 uh, boot lo um, for uh, loading code onto the, onto the chip, so it doesn't need any kind of um, programmer. It just appears as a, as a drive on your computer when you plug it in, and then you drag a new um, sketch onto it, either using CircuitPython or um, Arduino, and then it will uh, then then it once it sees a new file in in there it will uh, reboot 
uh, with the new sketch. So uh, either you press and hold reset, I'll, I'll have to check how you get it into that mode, but um, in any event, yeah. That's how you get new sketches onto it. The This guy here, this accelerometer, means that you could do things like, you know, make a, a maraca out of it. <laughs> if you wanted to, um, and uh, hook up some sounds to uh, to motion, or you could also use it as uh, as a way of taking a tap input or um, as a way of waking it up if it, fe if it hears vibration. So you might have it as uh, <clears throat> triggered off of a certain um, vibration or something like that. So yeah, that sounds like fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Anyways, let's see if we can put different sketches on there and um, uh, have some, some more fun with it. Oh, okay, so it's like a feather. Um, double, double press the, uh, the reset button and it'll enter into bootloader mode. Um, so do I have anything that I can use to double press the uh, reset button? A pencil, probably. And yeah, that's probably when it's green, it's reset. Oh, maybe not. It's now red, so I'm betting, yeah, that's more like reset. And then let's put it back. And then it does it go through its boot up sequence? Probably don't need to worry about ground because ultimately. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, so double, double click the reset and it puts it into bootloader mode and then. Um, reset it back if you want. don't want to update yet. Okay, so let's boot this thing up and see what we get. Welcome to AdaBox 10, brought to you by DigiKey, Analog Devices, and Adafruit. <laughs> okay, so what is this exactly? Ah. We've got a, a drum synth sequencer. So this can be programmed in two different ways. You can either use CircuitPython or you can use the, uh, the S A SAMD um, mode of flashing. Oh, well, flashing. You, um, you mount this as a drive, copy files, uh, copy files to it, and then it will uh, reboot once the... Uh, once the new um, UF2 file is installed on it, and yeah, that's how that's how you reprogram it. Right now, I think it's running in Circuit Python mode, and so you can download new Circuit Python sketches to it, or you can actually put in a new um, UTF uh, UF2 um, sketch on it, and it will um, rebuild it as a UF2 uh, device. So yeah, that's. Uh, Let's go um, load up some different uh, sketches on it. Okay, so after installing the um, libraries uh, via the library manager and a couple that were um, we had to install by zip file and then flashing the NeoPixel demo on there, this is what we get. So inside of the Arduino IDE, we've, let's see, well, let's restart it so that you can see it from the beginning. There we go. It does a color chase, RGB, and then wah, 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 disco. So yeah, so we've got it in the Arduino IDE. Now, if I want to put it into Platformio, there's a bunch of libdeps that I have to add for all of the different libraries that vary the various examples uh, uh, depend on. And uh, I might do that or just, uh, well, yeah, I'll probably end up doing that, but want to try and load a few more of the other sketches that they have as example sketches just to see what they sound like. Okay, so here we have the, um, the synthesizer sketch 